welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about how to accept payments on your WordPress website. Hey, my name is Corey Ashton and today I want to walk you through what it's like to actually be able to accept payments on your WordPress website. We'll look at a couple of different options, so stay tuned and let's get it started. Okay, y'all, so here it is. If you're wanting to do something like a donation button or some sort of reoccurring payment system on your website, there are a couple of different resources that you can use that are totally for free. Obviously, there's PayPal, and when I say for free, I mean that there are plugins that you can plug in your website and use those plugins for free, but realize that no matter, typically, no matter whatever payment processor you're using, it's going to take a percentage of the, the sale or that donation or that transaction, okay? So, and it totally depends on what sort of, um, um, system you're using as to how much that transaction fee is, if they take a transaction fee as well as a percentage. So you just want to really do your homework on whoever you're choosing to use for that payment gateway, all right? So I'm going to walk you through a couple of different plugins and I'm also going to give you a couple of links where you can go find some other cool resources today. PayPal obviously is the one that most people know and some people are turned off by it, some people like it. I'm going to give you options for both PayPal and non-PayPal resources uh, in this video. But first and foremost, this is WP Easy Payment Pay, uh, PayPal Payment Accept. So this one right here, if you just kind of walk through this whole screen, it gives you some really cool ideas of what all it can do for the free version. Um, and then when you click on this link right here, it takes you over to this link right here. There you go. It takes you over to this page that actually walks you through how to install the plugin. Um, it basically gives you some quick screenshots of what it could look like maybe in that left or right sidebar that you might have on your website. And what do you say if, no, I don't want it in a sidebar, I actually want it in a page or post. The cool thing about this plugin is it does give you a short code. I'm going to scroll down here. It does give you this short code right here that you would copy that and paste it inside of a post or a page to allow that same sort of interface uh, to, to appear inside that page or post. So pretty cool there. Another great thing about this plugin, if you scroll further down this page, you've got some really easy to follow video tutorials. So I, that's why I'm not going to walk you through it. You can come here. No, no need to reinvent the wheel. You already have videos you can watch. But what I will do is put the link to this page on our blog article and in the description box below on this video. All right. So that's if you want to use PayPal. All right. First of all, you have to go over to paypal.com, set up your own account, uh, link it to your business account, or your bank account rather, so that as soon as a payment is received, you can transfer it over to your bank account and actually get access to that money, right? That's how you set up with PayPal. And then you can use one of these plugins. Um, there's another uh, link that I'll put inside of this article as well, and in the bottom of this description box, at the bottom of the video, of this article over at WPMU Dev. And if you s scroll down this, it gives us five other plugins that might work better or actually has shopping cart capabilities for uh, PayPal. So scrolling down this list, it does include the one I just mentioned, uh, but it also gives you four others that might be of more value or be a little bit of a difference that might help you uh, collect that correct payment, okay? So let's say we don't like PayPal, don't want to use PayPal, want some other means. What else do you have for me, Corey? Well, here's this article over at WPBeginner.com that I want to give you a link to as well. This is five PayPal alternatives, so you don't have to use PayPal. They give us five other options online. Things like Cells, uh, Google Wallet, which obviously uh, is amazing, uh, Payoneer, and there's Stripe, of course. Stripe is gaining a lot more momentum. A lot of people are hearing about it more and, and being more open to using it, and eJunkie. So all of these are other options for you. Uh, the other cool thing that this particular blog article does have is a really great video here as well that kind of walks you through each one of these and the differences of what they offer. All right, so I'm gonna put that link in here as well for you. And overall, just be sure that whenever you're accepting payments on your website that you um, make it very clear to the individuals that are uh, putting in their credit card information that uh, it's a secure site, especially if you're using one of these payment gateways, it's going to be secure. Do not, whatever you do, do not just create a form on your website and ask people for their credit card information. That is in no way safe or secure. You you could get in trouble with, uh, you could actually be sued by credit card companies for being that insecure. So you, you absolutely wanna be sure that you're doing this in a secure and safe way, not only for yourself, eek, 
but also for the individual putting in their credit card information, right? So keep that in mind. If you have any questions specifically on how to use these things, be sure to check out their individual videos. If those still don't get answered, you still have questions after that, be sure to shoot us an email. Hey, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure to tweet us. I'll put the uh, Twitter handle down in the comment box below, or you're more than welcome to jump over on our website, webtermity.com, and check us out there as well. Meet us back here next Wednesday. Subscribe to the channel. I'll put the link right here because we've always got goodies for you every single week. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Videos are a great resource for learning, but there's nothing better than learning in person from WordPress experts. We offer a beginner's course and an advanced track that can teach you everything you want to know about WordPress. Our classes start soon, so head over to webtegrity.com and register today.